Hi, this is Michelle and Michael and we're here at home for Life the Basic Manual and our two English cockers, Gabe and Finlay. Gabe is the one that's in the picture at the moment and he's our five month old and he's happily playing with all his toys. Um, so I just want to talk about, for me, what English Cocker Spaniels mean. Um, I was around English Cocker Spaniels from when I was very, very young and my auntie had a golden called Crombie. Um, and I just fell in love with the breed. Um, I can't specifically say why, I just know that they captured my heart and I love all dogs, but there's just something, there's just a piece of my heart that they capture that no other dog seems to be able to reach. Um, so I didn't get my first English Cocker Spaniel until I was 22, which was not that long ago. <laughs> And since then, I have had a golden. I've had um, three, um, three blue roans and um, one black and tan, one solid black Finley, and here's little Gabe, who's a blue roan and tan. And all of them have got different personalities, um, which actually I learned from each each dog that's solids have got a different personality than blue roans. They have different coats than blue roans. So I think it's just lovely that in one breed, I mean, as with all dogs, they have different personalities, but to see the difference so that each, uh, sadly, when each dog passes on and it breaks our heart, when a new one comes in, it's nice that they have that different personality because um, they just open up your heart um, even more so you still think about the one that's passed and you have the new one that is different um, but the one consistent thing about all my English Cocker Spaniels is they just love to love and they just love to be loved um, I think that the way they interact with people um, is just so endearing they they're very playful um, they just love being with their persons um, they can be very obstinate as well, um, but I think they just prefer being around us and they actually prefer being around other dogs unless they're obviously in the same family. Um, so I can't say when you're looking for a breed or what you want. I'm obviously always going to be biased towards English Cocker Spaniels because I just think that there's just something very special about them and they're my dog. Um, and I respect the fact that everyone else has their dog. My brother has Rottweilers and I love the Rottweilers, but there's just something about English Cockers. I don't know whether it's just the way they look at you with their cute faces and their long, their long ears. And with little Gabe, his little mohawk. So I think he thinks he's a little tough guy there. Um, and just the way that they just can sit on your lap and they just wanna hug you and just be with you all the time. Not that they get anxious when you leave, but the happiness when you can just come home and you're, they just come up to you and it's going like, oh, you're home, you're home, you're with us. Um, even if we walk to 30 seconds away and you come back to them, it feels like a lifetime. Um, so I just really think with any dog, the joy and the love that they bring to life. And I really believe that home is not home unless you have a dog in there. So for all the years that I've been through, all the sadness, all the good times, for what my dogs have helped me through that, and um, I, I don't know how I would have got through certain um, hardships and sadness if my dogs weren't there to comfort me and to love on me. So um, they say that dogs are very therapeutic for us. Um, and even if we're sad, you just look at them and you just want to smile because that unconditional love that they have for their persons is just um, indescribable. Um, so I've just felt very fortunate that all my English cockers have loved me and I've been so blessed to have them in my life.